I know I'm a bit late with this story right here. As a matter of fact, I'm about two weeks late because the story came out two weeks ago. So it's still fairly recent and I couldn't get my mind off of how silly and idiotic this Negro is in this picture. I've done a lot of DNUs on my channel so far, but this one right here has to go down as one of the dumbest Negroes in history, whether or not I did a DNU on him or not. So... If you watch Willie D or watch Harvey, you already know who I'm about to talk about. But this person's name is Leroy Battle. The reason why I am talking about Leroy Battle today is because he recently committed basically murder. He killed two uh, teenage boys for one of the dumbest reasons I think I have ever heard of. Now, I'm not going to get into the reasoning right now. I'm going to just go ahead and read the article and it'll explain it. A suspect was charged Thursday evening in the murder of two teenage boys in South Chicago neighborhood last weekend. Leroy Battle, age 19, was charged with two counts of first-degree murder. He is accused of killing Charles Ramsey, age 16, and Ja'Shawn Francis, age 17, in the 7900 block of South Luella Avenue this past Saturday. Battle has three previous arrests, according to Chicago Police Chief and detect of Detectives Brandon Dinahan. CBS2 has learned has learned that he has been sentenced to 18 months probation in December 2019 on an unlawful use of a weapon charge the year before and remained on probation at the time of the murders. The probation was to end in June of next year. He couldn't keep his shit together for another year. This kind of reminds me of the other one that I talked about that was also in Chicago who was on probation around the same time as he was for almost the same exact thing. And he went out and he had shot and killed this boy from across the way. This the stories almost line up almost exactly the same. And the thing is, they're not the same age, but they were very close because I think the other one was 21 and this guy is 19. And like that other one, he shot a teenager. The only difference is the number of teens that he killed. This one killed two. The other one killed one. It says Jayshon was shot in the back chest and left hand while Charles was shot in the back and left flank. Both were taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where they were pronounced dead. These these individuals were with their friend. They just gone to a mall. They knew the neighborhood. They don't ever go out on the neighborhood because it's so dangerous. But on that one occasion, the boys asked just that once if they can go down to the corner store and buy some candy. They would face additional charges on that basis. Now, when I was reading through, they were saying that the reason he did it was because they asked him how tall he was or just a mind that he was a tall guy. Like, if that was a triggering point for you, then maybe you should have stayed locked up and not have gotten probation. Because that's a weak trigger. I hope they deal with this fool accordingly when he gets to jail. Now, let me just also add this. Like the other one I did with Chicago, the other DNU that I was explaining to you in this video, this I actually believe happened, opposed to all those so-called mass shootings that be happening over the weekend of holidays, where you have all these shootings and all these bodies, but you don't have one suspect. This one I actually believe because one, it wasn't a whole bunch of people, two, it was isolated to that area, and three, we have a suspect and a name and a face. So this one, I actually do believe really did happen. But the other ones, I'm not saying that the people that got shot didn't get shot. But I've noticed that what they've started to do is they started to put up pictures of little black kids that are being affected um, by this. It's all orchestrated. It's all they're, they're doing something on the uh, low end and they're using black bodies to do it. They they are no different than BLM. They all have their own agenda. But as for this guy right here, yeah, with that first degree charge, nine times out of 10 is going to stick. And then on top of that, he has more charges and he was on probation from other charges. It's safe to say he's most likely going to be in jail for the rest of his life. I feel absolutely nothing for him. I do, however, send my condolences out to the family of those two boys who lost their lives senselessly to a senseless individual.